Hey everybody, this is Andy with Patterson Adjuster Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add coverages to your Xactimate estimate. I was recently in Florida helping out with Hurricane Ian, and there were some adjusters down there that I met that didn't know how to add coverages to their Xactimate estimate. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. So the coverages we're going to add to this estimate is dwelling, dwelling extension or other coverages, backup sewer and drain, and then tree debris removal onto the dwelling coverage. We're going to make some assumptions, uh, first of which is you've already set the claim up and now you're ready to add the coverages. So let's look at the coverages that are involved. So we've got dwelling, coverage A, 435,987. Now depending on the carrier, you work for coverage A, dwelling extension, other structures, that's State Farm. If you work for other carriers such as Allstate, uh, coverage B is going to be dwelling extension, other structures. And then we're going to assume that there's some tree debris removal we need to add and also some backup sewer and drain coverage we need to add as well. Okay, so we're going to add some coverages. Now there's contents added on here and loss of use. You may have some carriers such as Allstate that add those additional coverages right here for contents and maybe even ALE, but I know State Farm doesn't add any contents or loss of use on their Xactimate estimates. They use exact contents for the personal property. So click that and then we're going to add dwelling. And now I'm going to delete I'm going to delete contents because we don't need it. Okay. So I'm going to type in our limit here, which is 435,987. Uh, it's going to apply to both. Okay. Now we're going to come down here to add coverage. Now we're going to add our dwelling extension or other structures. Now we can add it here or we can go to smart list and then we can add whatever we want. So we're going to go down here to other structures and we're going to hit add and then we're going to type in the limit for other structures which generally is 10% so it's 43,598 dollars. This applies to both. All right, now we're going to add the backup sewer and drain. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to structure, add, type in backup. Okay, so now we're going to change this limit to $10,000. Now, depending on what carrier you work for, they may have this different. You may have, you may actually go over here and do add options and add this on as an additional coverage, but I'm just showing you how to add it to your estimate specifically. Okay, so tree debris removal is generally a, an additional coverage. So I'm going to go over here to add options. And let's say we have a tree on the house. Then we're going to go to tree debris removal and aggregate, which means total, is $500. I know some policies it's $1,000, but we're going to say it's $500 for example purposes. We're going to hit add. Now you see this heading here says edit options. And the reason why it says that is because now there are some options in here we can edit. If your tree debris removal coverage applied to other structures, then you could add it here. Now the last thing we need to add is our deductible. Deductible is 1%, so it's $4,359. And that is how you add coverages to your estimate. Hope this video helps. I will see you in the next one.